Hi everybody, my name's Neil Owen, I'm the head instructor at Infinity Martial Arts here on the Sunshine Coast. Um, we're part of the High and Gracie Jiu Jitsu team. Uh, this is my assistant today, Stephen Fel Trelfo, and today we're going to be looking at uh, opening the guard and passing the guard. Hi guys, welcome to Infinity Martial Arts on the Sunshine Coast. Today we're going to look at guard passing. Okay. What we're going to do first of all is we're going to look at controlling grips. Okay. Without the grips, there's no way that we can pass the guard. So first of all, I'm going to go inside Steve's guard, his closed guard. Okay. First thing we've got to do is imagine the body as an eye, line across the shoulders, line across the hips, and the line down the center. Okay. First thing, we've, we've got to control this eye. We'll start at the top. If, if, say, Steve wants to sit up, bringing his right shoulder up, we have to put that side down. We don't want to cross to the other side of the body. So what we're going to do is, his right side is my left. I'm just going to put it down, okay? When he comes up with the, his right side, I'm going to put it down with uh, his left side, I'm going to put it down with my right, okay? We're going to kill two birds with one stone with this grip by actually gripping in the center. The way I like to do this is I put both lapels together, control it with my left, and I put the palm of my hand into his sternum, okay? Solid arm. In, my, uh, in the club here, I use the term bench press, okay? When you're in the gym, it's very difficult to bench press weight off your chest, but when you have it with your arms locked, you can hold a lot of weight. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at being like at the top of the bench press, fully pressed, fully straight. Okay, so now if he tries to sit up on either corner, it's hard. I'm going to keep him pinned to the mat. Okay, I'm going to do the exact same thing but with the right hand because I want to stop the bottom part of the eye moving. So I'm going to hold the belt with the right hand, again pressing in with the palm, pressing down. So the top and the bottom, and my head is upright, posing. So if he tries to control my collar and bring me down, it's hard because I'm strong. I've got both hands right at the top of that bench press. Okay? Really strong. And what can sometimes happen is that your opponent is wise and he'll look to break this lead arm by bringing it across and using his elbow to bring you down. Okay? The way we get around that is really simple. We just change the sides. Okay? So as he reaches, we just change. Okay, exactly the same position, good posture, bum down. As he reaches across, we just cross. Every time he reaches, we change. When you're doing your, when you're training in your gym or your garage or wherever you are, this is a really, really good thing to do. It's a good drill you can play with your, with your opponent. He can try to break your grip, you can try and maintain posture. Okay, now we've got the, the grips, we've established good posture. We can now start to think about opening the guard and, and then ultimately passing the guard. I like, especially in the beginning when you're first starting out, I like to just focus on one opening because then you can focus just on one lot of grips, one lot of posture, and then you can, after you've opened the guard, you can vary your passes, okay? So this is, this is an opening that I like. I think it's very, very, very high percentage move, okay? What we're gonna do is we've, we've had the grip fight and we've, we've got the good posture. Now we've got the good posture and we've had the grip fight, we can, actually, we can actually search with my right arm a little bit, okay? What I'm gonna look for is I'm gonna look for his sleeve. Now, I, because I don't wanna get tired in the, in the forearms, I don't want to be making this kind of grip a lot through the fight. It involves a lot of forearm strength. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make like a, a little pocket with a gi so I can just hook my fingers in. And, and in that way, all I have to do is hold tension in my fingers. I don't really have to be gripping to make the grip. So I hold tension in the fingers. So I control the posture. I look for the sleeve. Now I draw my elbow all the way through the back. Okay, so I get the sleeve and I draw the elbow all the way through to the back. Now I'm going to look to stand. Okay, it's very important how we stand. We don't want our weight to go over our opponent because we'll end up 
straight on his chest because we've got the bad posture. We need to try and maintain this posture all the way to standing. The way we're going to do this is we're going to look to bring our right leg up. The reason why the right leg is because we're holding his arm so he can attack the right side. Okay, so I'm going to rock to my left, which enables me to bring my right leg out. Now, it's very important. Can you see how my body's turned and angled towards? The reason for this is, is I don't want to be over him. I want to be strong in my base. Okay, this leg and this is like, it's like a crane. I've got really big support. Okay, I've got the arm pulled in and now I'm going to press from my left leg to my right and to come up onto my feet. And then I square all the time pulling on this arm. When I get up, nice wide stance, head up, good posture. All the time, all the way through, good posture. We don't want to come forward anyway. Arm in. Now, this arm becomes weak. As I stand, it becomes a battle of arm strength here. And if the guy you're fighting is stronger than you, you'll lose this battle. And then once the arm goes, the head will follow and then your posture will break. So what we need to do is we need to lock this arm. So we lean to one side. So now if he pulls, it's no problem. What we're going to do now it's locked is we're going to use our left hand on top of the knee and we're going to shake and bounce till the guard opens. As the guard opens, we're just going to step back and give ourselves a bit of room. Still maintaining good posture and control of the arms. Now the guard's open, we can look to pass.